Hi, it's Mr. Smith here from Amazing ICT, and I want to show you a few things that we did at the excellent Teagues Bridge School in Telford. So uh, they wanted to do a Christmas project, so I'm just going to talk you through it. You can see there's some flashing lights. There's a Father Christmas holding um, a Christmas pudding and a couple more characters as well. It's a couple of clever ideas from students as well. So let's have a little look at it. First of all, you've got all the characters here. So uh, you can find extra characters just by clicking on the cat. And clearly, you could just scroll through. You can also search, so we could have a little bell. Um, so I'm just going to search. Do that again. Search. Type bell in. And there's the bell. So now we've got two bells. Um, I'm just going to make them smaller. So to do that, I click on the bell. And I just want that to be, say, half size 50%. I'm doing this on an iPad, so um, it's you haven't got as much control as with a, um, a laptop. But it, it's, it's really, it works well. Uh, I'll just put that bell up there. And I'll do the same with this one. <laughs> Click on that bell, make that 50%. Now I want that at a slightly different angle. So you can see on here you've got direction. And on an iPad you can actually rotate this. So I can, I can sort of turn that round. Let's put those up there. And that looks okay. So these are all the characters, they're called sprites. So the snowman was part of Scratch. Santa, I had to import. So I searched for santa.png and there was a free download that I could have. Notice that I'm not on the internet at the moment, so that's why that orange box has come up. So you need to be on the internet when you load the project, but then you can still play with it without being on the internet, which is really nice. And the reindeer you can search for as well and just move around. So let me show you first of all about the Christmas lights because a couple of people have asked me about that. So the way we did that uh, was we got a bit of code in here, but I'm just gonna show you the important bit, which is the costumes. So that was the original one. And then the students rested their finger on it and they went to duplicate, which produced an extra copy. And then all we did was to go up to the pen tool and we made this much bigger. I think we said 50. And then we chose a different colour. So I'll just put some a couple of red lights on. And then what you can do, you can add some, some lights. Now remember, this one um, has got the, the original baubles, which are coloured, and then this has got some sort of bright lights. Now the viewer won't notice that those are the baubles changing colour, but um, you can see it looks quite good if I just make it full screen. I think I made the red ones too big. I think I should have done that 40. So don't forget, you can always, on here... Um, just go to undo and then you can get rid of stuff. But I'll leave it as 40 for now. Uh, and then what I did for the code for Santa was just that short bit of code. So this is costume one, this is costume two. So what I wanted to do was to come up with a loop that went on forever or until I stopped the game. And it says next costume now watch what happens when I take get rid of that. Can you see they're just flashing on and off very quickly? So it doesn't look very realistic. So that looks much better. Don't forget that this is called a variable, so you can change this to whatever you want. So that looks even better, I think. Now the reindeer, we wanted to move across the page. So when you click on it, it moves. But then if it gets to the end of the page, or the screen in this case, it should turn back. 
Now, unfortunately, what we found, we had to debug it, was that the reindeer was upside down. So we had to go on direction and we had to click on this center button. Let me just take that off for a minute and you'll see what happens. So the reindeer is upside down. When it gets the other side, it'll go the right way up. So you might, might want a magic reindeer, but in this case we didn't. So we've got to click on that one. That's it. And then the snowflakes, we wanted them to come to the top of the screen. So they glided in the center on the x-axis, but to the very top. And we said that was 170. And we hid them as they went up so you couldn't see them. Then they appeared, they showed, and then they slowly came down. And then what we found was that if you rest on one of these snowflakes, you can actually duplicate it. So then we've got three snowflakes. And what you can do now is change the code. <coughs> Excuse me. So that was 20. So I'll change that to 40. Change that to 40. And I'll make it come down a bit slower. So we're going to have three snowflakes all coming down at different speeds. Let's try it. There we go. And the last thing was from a student who said a good way of getting snow is by getting some clouds and layering them. So that's what I really like is when students come up with ideas. And in this case, we rotated the cloud. Um, so thanks to everybody at Teague's Bridge for a brilliant time and hopefully you enjoyed it. I'm just going to move Santa down to there because I think it looks a bit better. Um, and have a go with the project. It's all free. It's on. Just search for Amazing ICT Scratch and it'll be at the top of the page. Thanks for watching.